welcome friends to the beaver dam gonna have an interesting day I'm gonna be spending probably more money than I should uh, trying to get this Gungan phalanx going I uh, yeah so if I'm doing my math right if I'm following what I'm thinking about when it comes to these new uh, marquee characters as well as what happened with Mommy Mandalore, they're going to be releasing Jar Jar in the next couple of weeks. Uh, and so we have to be very strategic in the way that we have to get the Gungan right now. <laughs> yep, so we're, we're going to have to get the Gungan like ASAP, which means spending a lot of money. Uh, and speaking of spending a lot of money, if you guys want to add in to our Gungan fund, we do have are a jar 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 <clears throat> and i even have our jar jar tip jar and guess what jar jar clinks uh so welcome everyone and we're going to have a fun time getting our gungan tank we will do our uh our grand arena first and then we're just gonna go straight in to getting our gungan phalanx uh we're actually on our way to that jar jar day one and I'm really trying, so anything that you guys can offer does help. And speaking of which, we have a new fun little thing, which is anyone who donates 99 cents gives a treat to Mara. And so Mara will get treats when you donate. <clears throat> so make my dog happy. Donate 99 cents. Uh, I don't even remember how to say your name, Lunar, but welcome, Andy Nachos, welcome, welcome. Let's jump right into our grand arena. Have a damn good time. How much do I need Gear Rex to get him good for Phoenix? You told me, yeah, so as long as he at least has level six for his unique ability and he's like gear nine, you'll have no problems doing some solid stuff with him. If you want to drop the Zeta on him, you can, but honestly, as long as you go that far, you will be completely fine. Okay, so our opponent, I, I don't know, he might have given up, but he was a... Uh... Oh, he kept going. He he took a break earlier today because I checked this morning. Ooh, dropping a battle on Bulba, that's rough. <laughs> Pause everything I do and bet Mara. Well, if we do the Mara gives a tree, I've been teaching her how to get up on my chair. Uh, and so we'll basically bring her up on the chair in front of everyone and give her a treat. So... <clears throat> But I, honestly, Andy Nachos, I might I might put it up there. So he hasn't gone against our fleets yet. Uh, the, the point where he gave up for a while makes sense where he gave up because he got to the back wall and he hit Ray. <laughs> and dropped a battle against the Holdo Kron. <laughs> oh, I freaking love it, dude. So great. So incredibly great. Um... So this front wall is painful. Oh, that's sad, ADP. Uh, th yeah, so we got a Malgus to take down. We have a Starkiller takedown, a Qui-Gon Jinn, <clears throat> a Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. It's not a great Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, but it's a Supreme Leader Kylo Ren nonetheless. Like, this is Starkillerable. And then we also have a Jabba. Let's go ahead and check his account. Uh, hey, PHX, welcome back. We're going to check his account and just see uh, what's happening here. Um, see if we have a Ray that we have to deal with. So, I looked his account once, but I can't remember. Okay, no Ray to deal with, so we can waste Star Killer on the front and get rid of their Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, which will make my life a little bit easier. Uh, okay. I haven't done a Supreme Leader Kylo Ren with Star Killer like ever. I've done it like twice, I think. <clears throat> but that is no um no whatchamacallit, which makes it super easy. Okay. Yeah, no no uh Uh I hate when people do this. When they put no uh sorry, my brain's just not working today. No Hux. Uh, they don't, I, I checked their account earlier, uh, they don't have anything but Executor right now. So, they're, it looks like they're working towards Leviathan and hoping to fight their way into Kyber 2 with it. <clears throat> 
Well, we kind of got a one shot everything today. Uh, and so I almost don't want to use Star Killer here just to ensure we win. But uh, in case he has something in the back wall, I do need to save Bane and Sith Eternal. So we will Supreme Leader Kylo Ren this 100%. So Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Um, honestly. Do something like that and do it a little easier. Almost actually applied the Omi to the new Gungan. Oh, dude. ADP, that would give me a heart attack. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, close calls. Seriously, holy shiz. Okay. It's not that one, it's that one right there. Um, okay. Just getting ourselves a Doubt Kron. This should be fairly simple. I'm going to laugh when it doesn't work, but it is the first battle of the day. It includes First Order. We are going to use our song for this. abso freaking lutely Let us get hyped. Guys, we need this to win. <clears throat> Where is the song? The last day of the Republic. What if I told you that the Republic was now under the control? Of the okay, everyone, take a deep breath. Manifest this win. We got this. Regional governors now have direct control over their territories. Fear. Oh, we need to do that. Fear of this battle station. Okay. Any attack made by the rebels against this station. The, the song is blessing you. This station is now the ultimate power in the universe. Don't be too proud of this technology. That was so fast. I have never had my first order officer die that fast. Next to the power of the that is crazy. Don't try to frighten us with your sorcerer's ways. Just go for the kill. God, goodness gracious, that was wild. Yeah, 314,000, that much, jeez. Yeah, that is crazy. Just keep siphoning. Okay, he's not coming back. Now it's just Jabba, we're fine. But yeah, that first order officer scared the shiz out of me. Great timing. Hey, Jan. Welcome, welcome. Dude, started the SLKR ticket farming today. Congratulations, dude. That's huge. Okay, let's pull off another, another uh, win. Where is our... Not Starkiller lead. Where's our Emperor Palpatine? Hey, E-Man, welcome, welcome. What's the unresponsible spending? Oh, we're going for the uh, Gungan Phalanx. We have to go for the Gungan Phalanx because if it follows the way that Mommy Mandalore worked, Jar Jar's coming out in two weeks. And so we will not have time to wait to farm up him. Uh, we're just going to have to farm him up right now and get him into seven stars during the marquee event. So I am going to be spending a boatload of money. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how Arnold uh, does it, bro. Uh, I, I'm like zoned out because just thinking about it. Where's Where's Mara Jade? Not Not you, Mara Jade. This This Mara Jade. 
<clears throat> it's not as much as it used to be. You're you're correct. It's still painful though. Okay, what are we looking for? What do we want to do? Uh, do we have a way of dealing more damage? Ooh, this uh, this is reduced. We don't gain buffs too much. I almost want to just give them the doubt cron and call it a day. Yeah, let's give them a doubt cron. See, Arnold is secretly working with CG to get everything. Dude, if I get 330 on the first attempt, I'm going to be so incredibly happy, Andy. <laughs> uh, yes, that is the plan, ADP. I did the math. I know how much I have to spend. Uh, so, yes, that is the plan currently. Oh, gosh. Okay. We'll see how this battle goes. I've never pulled off this battle. This is this is a clench your butts kind of battle. I need everyone to take a deep breath and manifest once again. This needs to work. Oh gosh. Uh, let's start off with a stun on him. Um. Dang it, we're stuck behind the First Order Stormtrooper. That'll clear it off, and he can no longer get those buffs. Hit him with this. Oh, the dodge! Are you freaking kidding me? I'm ready. Come on, kill him. Kill him. Dude, <laughs> full banner win. Full banner win. Heck yes. Damn fine play. Oh. Oh. Good crap. Star Killer does not work against the Raycron, Revan. We can uh we can pull it up for you real quick. I am riding high off of that one. Oh gosh. Okay. Uh, let's go to our Gak Insights. 3v3 squads. And the lead is Ray. And you have, I'm guessing, Holdo and JTR. We're going to go with the defending Datacron primary of Holdo. Starkiller has a 15% win rate. So. Hey, Advocat, welcome, welcome. Do we have a member that can get us a General Kenobi for Advocat over here? Uh, also, oh, Raycron, not Holdo. Oh, I mean, it's not going to change much, honestly. There it is. Raycron. 14% win rate. I, I hope that's you know, <laughs> answers your question. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it genuinely matters which uh, level 6. If they have the level 6... Where it's the this one right here, you're basically screwed. If it's not this level six, it's probably a better bet. Yeah, but it's still not great. It's still not great. Blind? We can check what blind is. Um, so we add um, blind. You battle. Yeah, eleven percent win rate. So even worse than the other one we were looking at. So. Yeah. Hey, Jace Nugans, welcome, welcome. We just pulled an absolute play, and I want to emphasize to you guys, please do not... I made a video about this for a reason. Do not put SLKR on defense without Hux. It's so bad. I just got a full banner win with Starkiller. Ugh. It, it hurts my soul. I have Raycon, but... 
uh, hold Okron. So good. You're going to try and get it. Yeah, absolutely, Advocat. Come on. None of our members. We got Zarevan here. We got ADP. Come on. Where's the General Kenobi for Advocat? You guys still haven't hopped on that. It's insulting. How dare you? Okay, jumping into our next battle. Uh, I'm thinking gas here, just to preserve our stuff that we can use. And then we'll do Sidious Solo here, because I've heard Sidious Solo does great here. Thank you, PHX, ADP, Zarevan. Thank you for coming in with that. Uh, let's throw a gas against this, because this is a low relic... Uh, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's just it's not a good one. So we're going to definitely assume our 501st can go through this. <clears throat> okay. Get ourselves a protection cron. And we're going to jump right in. Let's get our... Uh, this is where the fun begins, guys. This is where the fun begins, I gotta say. <laughs> Good luck. I don't believe in luck. Only the force. Jeez, that was like... Oh my gosh, that was a tickle. Ugh. I should have saved the form up, but I wasn't sure if I was going to get another chance to use one. How long do I think I have? Oh, I can't gain buffs anyways. Sweet. Okay. Talon is gone. Anakin is back up. Get those crits in. He is never hitting his big hit again. Do I just plan on Relic 7 and Gas? I mean, you can see right here, I'm not having any problems using him as the thing. And so it's hard for me to justify a higher Relic on him. But I do want to Relic 7 him. You're not wrong. Like, it sounds like a great thing to do for the account. It's just not high up on my list, considering all of my current plans. Uh, I think I'll circle back around to him, honestly. Because right now I have uh, Gungans to finish, and then Ben to finish, and then I'm going to work on Profundity, and then JML, and then into Jabba, and then I'll circle back around to Gas, I think. Because, like, you look at battles like this, and, like, I, I genuinely don't have problems with my Relic 5 Gas most of the time, so. Yeah, Jar Jar is first. Using Starkiller versus Malgus? Malgus is not a great Starkiller matchup. I don't know how you're doing that. What, what uh, lineup are you using? Like, what lineup do they have, rather? Until you get Lord Failure. Ugh. I don't know if I'll ever get Lord Failure, considering how often they're dropping things. You'll unlock JML tomorrow? Congratulations, Jace Nugans. That's huge. Absolutely huge. Um, okay, we're doing CLS here. It's our go-to. Get our protection up, Kron, to keep us alive. Uh, let's throw on Luke, you know? Um, let's just go in for a hit here. And that right there should clear off his thingy-majigs. Get some blind out there. Okay. We gotta hurry now. Hmm. 
Whoa, okay. Not the most pretty banners, but I think we're still gonna win. I'll take it. 52 banners, I'll take it. Okay. Oh, here we go, guys. Here we go. There you are, you beautiful beast. This could be very bad. <laughs> Uh, in 3v3, normal Starkiller team wants, as long as Malak isn't on the Malgus team. Okay, yeah, so without Malgus. Oh, uh, okay. Got it. Dude, okay. All, all we gotta do is get through this team. I'm feeling some... Do it. Oh. I haven't done this battle before. Let's... Let's go! We got this, guys! That was so easy! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Holy crap, dude! The team just it fell apart! That was so fast! What the freak? Oh my gosh! Uh, heck yeah, guys! Yeah, I, PHX, whoa, you spelled that wrong. There's no N. It's just damn, like the beaver dam. Goodness gracious, that was beautiful. <laughs> well, this Kron, the C Lightspeed bundle gets released. Yeah, we'll see about that. Okay, let's see. We got tons more to take down. But all of it's pretty easy at this point. As long as we don't drop battles, I think we are, like, guaranteed the win here. Okay, so 273, which is 280, 289 is our overall speed currently. Okay, so we are faster than them. We are better than them. It's just how it works. We're just better. We're built different, if you will. Okay. Uh, let's give him... Uh, I don't think they'll release a JML bundle, Advocat. I don't think it's possible for them to. You're you're gonna be waiting a long time in vain for that one. Uh, Sith Eternal. I could definitely see Sith Eternal this year, but I could not see JML. There's no way. Uh, basic. Play it safe. Well, uh, yeah, JML has way too many event requirements, and they've already given the Shadow of the Empire bundle. There's not really any way that they can do anything for it. Exactly, the Phoenix and Rebel bundles. We are destroying this guy's defenses. Okay, what's next? What's next? We gotta keep going. We are absolutely destroying this guy's defense. Okay, what, what does he have up north? What, is there anything scary at all? Uh, that's semi-annoying. I wouldn't call it scary, but it's annoying. 
True, true, Andy Nachos. But he is a really easy character to get. Uh, so we... We have a lot in our roster to use. Like, a lot, dude. Okay, well, let's let's take care of the scariest one first. I am just because I have failed this battle before, but it was in 5v5, but I do want to be very, very careful. And so I will take the lesser banners as long as we're not losing battles. So let's jump right in. Uh, I'm going to go with roll it. I really like roll it. Roll it again. Yeah, I would be more inclined to see that, honestly. Hey, healer. Welcome, welcome. We are absolutely destroying our opponent today. Wow, they have crap mods. How are they in Kyber 3, bro? That was some terrible modding. The fact that my Watt Tambor took turns before them. Oh my goodness, dude. That's insane. I'll show you how bad my Watt Tambor's mods are after this battle. Like, that was depressing. Yeah, we can get Techno Union, absolutely. I'm sure we'll have a place for Bounty Hunters, which is typically where we use it. Oh, that's rough, healer. I'm sorry, dude. You got the ne next round, though. That's the nice thing about, you know, Grand Arena is if you failed really badly this week, your next week is going to be absolutely banger. <clears throat> okay, other scary teams. Dude, get yourself your Imperial Troopers healer. They, they take care of that, no problem. Why is why is Mando with a scoundrel team, dude? Why does he have the Mando Zeta? He has the Mando Zeta. No. No, dude. That's the like one of the worst Zetas in the game. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm, I, hold on. I'm gonna reset my entire blue stacks. I'm glad it crashed right there instead of during a battle. But, bro. Bro, that hurts my soul. He could have made a scarier team if he just put Bosk with him. Ugh. <clears throat> I mean, either way, Beskar Mandalorian is not good on... Like, Beskar Mandalorian is good with uh, Maul, but... Regular Mandalorian, OG Mando, is not good with Maul. So, like, uh... Yeah, they really take for granted. <clears throat> okay, jumping right back into our Grand Arena. Oh, sorry. I just had a second where I thought about how much money I'm gonna spend today, and I, I let an involuntary sh sigh out. Like, uh, oh. Turns out OG Kylo can't solo Geos. It's close. <laughs> I've done it before with Watt Tambor, uh, but yeah, no. In three v three, he can do it if you have Watt Tambor. Otherwise, it's really close. Don't waste your Zetas. Oh, that's rough, Andy. For two Gak Lockins, I don't have enough Zetas to finish my SLK. Oh, sad. Okay, so... None of these are particularly scary. I'm gonna use Bane on the scariest team.
Okay, we're gonna use Wampa here, and uh, first person to say which Wanga they want is the Wanga they get. They want a Wanga one, two, or three. I shall wait upon thee. Tell me which one you want, wish. Andy coming in with the number one. What did you say? I would certainly like to. Heck yeah, he, that's what I like to hear. I freaking love the Treyo Omi. Okay. Try to pump as many turns as we can in. All we gotta do is survive the opening play, basically. Okay, there's the opening play. At this point, we are good. Oh, come on. Finish him off. Thank you. We might get those grace banners this time. If we can get one more AOE out, I think we have full banners. Yeah, I think it's mostly just to discourage Wampas because a lot of people struggle with Wampa with Droid Decop for some reason. But if you have a, a lot of mods on your Wampa, you should be fine. Like, all you need is some good health mods, basically. Ah, we'll just go in for the kill. And we got our full banners! Okay. This isn't even like a good new gunray team. I don't want to waste something good against this. We're going to pass around Savage's wife, guys. Don't need that. Let's just ensure we try to get as much as we can. Okay. We're going to go ahead and uh, pass around Savage's wife. Um... Let's just get B2 out of here. We're going to be stuck behind uh, YG100 for a bit. Yeah, without uh, Django here, we're going to have zero problems. Because Django is the, the problem that Savage has in this battle. Where uh, Savage struggles because he reduces max health over and over again, and so it ends up getting really close. You can still win, it's just really scary. He is, he, he is saying that his wife is ours, Andy, That's, that is what he's saying. You stop it and just die. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, set, uh, resetting our turn uh, cooldowns. Gosh, this guy is annoying. The continues just easily killed Hondo. Heck yeah. It's awesome. Ooh, that's rough, no Jace Nugans. Okay. This one, we're going to do this. Um, that right there is going to be our team.
And we can use bounty hunters for the other one. I just really enjoy using Jedi Knight Revenant against this team for some reason. Honestly, Bounty Hunters was probably the better play at Vocat. But I just I love this team so much. And I want an excuse to use them against something semi good. Yeah, I know, and uh, the song's lying to us. I'm sorry. I don't know what I can do to keep it from lying to us. Okay, where's our boss bounty hunters? Should be another easy win. And as promised, we will get the Techno Union in here. That was a hard one, guys. Yeah, this is definitely not the Kyber 3 defenses I'm expecting. I think we're going to get to Kyber 2. <clears throat> okay. This one does have a Mandalorian Kron. It's not great. This is so overkill, guys. Uh, let's go less overkill. Less overkill. That's that's a little better. That's a little better. Now it's not too overkill, you know? Okay. <clears throat> um, there's always a bigger fish. That's right. I'm like looking at the, what song. Okay. Going into, there's always a bigger fish. Problem is, these battles are not lasting very long because he's putting down garbage teams. Yeah, not overkill at all. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't know. How does these guys' speeds look? Their mods haven't been good, like, the entire time, so... 248 is going to be like 300 roughly. Right? Yeah, it'll be roughly 300 is what we're looking at. <sighs> Honestly, I think we can go first. Uh, even if we don't, I don't think we're going to have a problem. I, Andy, I don't think so. I think that would be a little too hard for Bane to take out. But we'll, we'll try it. I think you're on to something. I think there's, like, a 3% chance that Bane can work against Rebel Fighters. We'll, we'll definitely give it a try. Yeah, like, right here, my Maul should not be faster than an Omicron uh, team. Like, this... Ugh. These mods are awful, dude. Um, let's just go for the kill on Zam.
<laughs> There's no sarcasm in the way I'm speaking. What are you talking about? It's genuine worry that, you know, it might not work with Bane versus Rebel Fighters. Gosh. Yeah, this guy definitely needs some help from Pimpo. You're not wrong. Uh, okay. Here we go, guys. I, I I don't know if we can do this. We we do have to get our song though. Where's our song for Bane? Where where is Arnold's Bane song? Oh, we're gonna have to play it differently today. Hold on. He still hasn't posted on YouTube, which is wild to me. We need assurance. Uh, just in case. We're going to bring in a Relic 7 with him, just in case. Uh, let's see, where's where's Arnold's songs? Okay, here we go, guys. This might be really loud, and I apologize. Okay, it's not really loud. How's that? That looks not bad. Okay. Game crash. Don't put that juju on me. <clears throat> yeah, don't forget the Datacron. Because we need it, you know? Oh, gosh. I need to start putting the the Bane fights on 1x just so that way they last a little longer because like holy crap <laughs> oh my gosh dude gross absolutely disgusting it worked guys I can't believe it worked insane <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, right, we could Imperial Trooper this. We could Treya this. We could Dark Revan this. We have so many options right now. Okay, we'll just Dark Revan it. It's an easy battle. Honestly, though, Imperial Troopers is probably going to be better banners. So we'll, we'll go Imperial Troopers. Thousands have come before. Okay. Uh, Bane nerf did not work. No, don't you remember? It, that's how the Omicron was intended. There was no nerf. What are you talking about? Oh, heck yeah, healer. That is awesome. Congrats to Nex. That is so great, dude. Nex is gonna... Oh, his roster is gonna be amazing at this point. I'm upset that he's not here in stream, so we can't celebrate with him, but congratulations, Nex, when you're watching this later on. Okay. Let's take a look. What song are we looking for now? We are looking for... You, you... And we want Activate Dark Troopers, that's right. Oh yeah, he's got some great things coming up. Okay, I was gonna say, did you play? Yeah, I know, I heard he was on holiday, healer. Makes a huge difference. Wait, watch what? Just me playing games? That that hurts my soul, Jan. You wouldn't watch me not live? Okay. So, we got a Holdo. We have... Okay.
Finalizer, Chimera, and then Negotiator. Yeah, he definitely needs some stuff just added to it. Like, oh, he has so many good GLs, and he didn't put any of the good GLs on defense, and it drives me crazy. These aren't the droids you're looking for. You have something I want. Don't spit on me. Uh. Uh, it feels different. I mean, yeah, we, we get to interact with each other. That's fair. That's fair. I do prefer live over a video format personally, but Also speaking of watching my content stay tuned today We have the Grand Inquisitor guide coming out and it was so painful to finish and I beg of you Please watch it and share it with your guild Justify my pain of trying to get it right for you guys, so that way you guys have the easiest way through that event. Okay. Why, thank you, Jan. I appreciate it. Yeah, SLKR versus Jabba is really easy, especially if you, uh, in 3v3. Like, 3v3, it's cake. Okay. I had to, like, switch gears for a second and make sure that everything is correct. Okay, so we're gonna basic here. I gotta focus in here, because this counter is actually annoying. Uh, okay, so right now... We still have turn meter on people. So we're gonna push turn meter. Get some crits and heal back up. Okay, and now we hit that. Uh, and then we can big hit that. Uh, yeah, I don't take Hux against Jabba 90% of the time, either. Ability block, sick. That's a really annoying ability block, I'm gonna be honest. Like, that's, that's actually gonna screw us up pretty hard. Ah, uh, stun. Thank you. That makes my life so much easier, guys. That stun came in clutch. Let's heal up. Or not. No crits. Okay. That's fine, too. I didn't want crits anyways. Gosh. Uh, we have enough turn meter rocking through our veins. Let's get rid of you. That's right. Crit immunity. It's fine. Oh, dang. We timed that wrong. I bet you anything we timed that wrong. I think we timed that wrong. He's about to heal. Let's just get through this. Oh. Oh, we're good. Push. Um... I don't like how this works. No matter what, I'm losing out on something. I killed them. I killed them all. I killed them all. They're dead. They're dead. Every single one of them. Okay, that should finish off you. I killed them all. I killed them all. And not just or not. That should finish you off. Or not. Uh, we're gonna go big hit there, actually. Let's go! <laughs> yes, I, I have done this counter a lot over the years. I know it forward and backwards. I I have a guide about it, Advocat. Um, let's see. Uh, just videos. I actually think I may have a playlist for it, but... Let's see... I, I think I, did I fix the, 
Yeah, here we go. Right here. Uh, f use finalizer and executor counter. Yeah, right here. So go go look up this video. This is this goes through this counter. <clears throat> I got you, bro. I got you. Oh yeah, big hit on Houndstooth. No protection up. That was solid, solid. Okay, uh, back to our regularly scheduled programming. I'm going to do this, and I am going to prove something. Uh, and I'm going to say screw you guys for it, you know? This was annoying the shiz out of me. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring this in like this and call it a day. I appreciate it, Avocat. I'm trying my best. Heck yeah, healer. That's what I love to hear. Stay in that top 10, dude. So many crystals. Uh, from unlocking GLs to counters, yeah. We do what we do best, you know? Okay. Uh, I want my song in here. Not our song, because, uh, you know, I love our song and all. It's just, uh, Thrawn's is my favorite one that Arnold has. So, I'm gonna have to use it here. I am proving a point. <laughs> I, I am going to prove a point here. <laughs> uh... Point proven. I will start my operations. Freaking A. And call the rebels apart. Beats by beats. They'll be the architects of their own destruction. There is no escape. 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 There is no escape. Escape. There is no escape. People were fighting with me in a stream the other day about uh, how to do this counter. I was like, just use the same profundity trick. It, it just makes it super easy because you can keep people alive real easily. Um, yeah, let's just heal him up. Open fire. Why should demonstrate my power? Thrawn is probably the third best Star Wars villain behind Vader and Palpatine. I'd put him above Palpatine, but not above Vader, in my opinion. <clears throat> he is the most well-flushed-out Star Wars villain uh, in anything, and I love that. Dang it. Hopefully we'll get some Grace Banners. Take, I'll take 71. Dude, heck yeah. Relic 5 Aiden is so helpful. I, I need to bring her up to Relic 5. I just have her at Relic 3 right now. And I need to bring her Relic all up. That's like, it's on my list of things to do. Eh, it's worth the risk. Um... Babu Frick, hello there, or I have the high ground. Your guys' choice. Quick, choose. You guys have 10 seconds. I should demonstrate my power. High ground. High ground it is. Sweet. Do I drop my code here for review, or do you, I do it via Discord, uh, typically, whoop de doo uh, So we do it, if you throw it in chat, you can. It's just, you're going to be at the bottom of the list, basically. I will be opening up roster reviews here in just a second. Yeah, PHX, go ahead and throw it in the list, and I will get to you. Move, 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 
you can't dodge this. Uh, let's clean up you. Give some offense up to you. I will try to have a video out on the negotiator here pretty soon for you guys. Yeah, PHX, just throw your... I'm not going to be able to look back at last uh, yesterday's stream uh, to find your ally code, so just throw it in. 2068, zero drop battles. Good luck, my opponent, getting through that. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, I'm throwing it in right now. We are going to be doing our whales first before we uh, jump into roster reviews. But, um, Ben Oz, make sure you put it after this message. Okay. Oh, this is going to be easy. So I would really speed up the negotiator, right? Ooh, heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah, that is a dub in my book. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to do some stuff with the web store here on stream. Are you guys ready to see pain? Are you guys ready to see the pain in my eyes? So I want you guys to remember, 834 is our total right now. Oh, okay, it's in the Discord right now from the other day. Um, what is your name in here? Uh, I don't know what your name is, otherwise I would say, yeah, let's do it immediately. <clears throat> okay. Oh, okay, keep in mind 834 is where we're at, right? On my phone here on the web store. Okay. First purchase down. Why isn't my phone working all of a sudden? Uh, so fun fact for you guys. Um, if you purchase through the web store for things like, you know, crystals and that kind of stuff. Oh no. Why is it not letting me do this? There we go. It wasn't letting me do it for a second. Oh, the pain. Oh, the pain. Oh. Paid. Oh, here we go again. Oh. Oh. Okay, 834. 834 is where we were at. <clears throat> oh, yes, I'm buying the new Gungan, Caleb. Oh, I'm a college student. I can't afford this stuff. Oh. And there's our 30 shards for our Gungan. Oh. 
<laughs> there's another 16.5 thousand. Oh, I am a straight up orca at this point. Holy crap, dude. Oh. Oh. 33,000 crystals. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like we. Uh, this deserves this song, guys. <laughs> Why am I in debt? Jar Jar Binks. Oh gosh, guys. Let's jump in. Let's jump in. By the way, just a reminder, if anyone wants to donate to the Jar Jar, it'll clink for you, buddy. Please help out. I'm in pain, dude. Holy crap. Ugh. Ugh. I can't complete all the tiers. It requires Relic 5, and I don't have them at Relic 5. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh. Yeah, Darth Jar is gonna make me hope. Okay, louder music, I'm down, yeah. Ninety shards so far, guys. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh gosh. You got like the rest. So take my hand and let's do it. Makes you have no money, but all the gun <laughs> Blue pill, all the way. Blue pill. We're taking the blue pill. Don't have Kairos. To be fair, with the Zetas, I only have one currently, and it's going to go on one of the Gungans, but I plan on saving up all of my Zetas if possible. If we can get through this event without Zetas, that's great, because uh, I'm going to save up all my Zetas, and we're going to do a bare minimum Zeta Jar Jar Guide Day 1. <laughs> so I am trying my best to help out the community, my friends. <clears throat> okay. Uh... I, I actually do want to do this really fun uh, thing just for a, a side fun thing for us, you know? Let's see if I can find it. There it is. We're putting on the hard style one. Okay, I I don't know how to mod this guy. He's a, he's a tank. Let's... Uh, health mods. Um, sort by speed. I don't care, I've already done my modding for my Inquisitor event, so I just need to switch things back. Protection, we're gonna want protection again. We got, we got protection somewhere, right? Protection. Come on, protection. Uh, and then I'm just gonna go for a speed. And there we go. Okay.
Here we go, guys. Come on. Come on, 3.30. 3.30. Ah. Uh, okay, you guys didn't manifest hard enough. You gotta manifest for me. You gotta take a deep breath. And we need to manifest this. Let's go. Come on. Oh, come on. Five. That's not good enough, guys. Manifest. Come on. Come on. Come on. Seven. Ah. Come on. Come on. I know how many packs to buy, my friend. It is 17 packs. But... We are going to go as far as 10 packs and then we'll jump into the event and grab our shards. Oh, that one was Larry's fault. We don't have any Larry here. Oh, come on. Give me that 330, please. Don't make me use all this money. Please. I can't afford this. Oh, come on. More than 15. Exactly, Lunar. More than 15. Come on. Come on. Let's go! Come on! I'm gonna ruin my throat doing this. Oh! Oh! These fives are killing me, dude. Oh! Come on! Seven again! Oh, you're killing me. Oh, it's so painful. Why did I agree to Relic Knight Jar Jar? <laughs> oh. Come on! More than seven, please. Oh. Five. Okay, one last one, and then we're jumping into the event. Guys, that was a hundred dollars that I just spent. That was a hundred dollars that I just spent. Oh gosh. Okay, we're gonna jump into the event and we're, we're gonna do some event stuff. Get some, uh, get some shards. Uh, let's let's upgrade his uh, overall star level just to make sure we're we have somewhere to get another upgrade uh, We'll see we'll see after we finish these tiers. We'll calculate it out, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna need two or three more currently Tur Twirling their collective <laughs> mustache oh, Come on CG don't you want me to have this character? Don't you want me to spend money? Don't, don't break my game. You're killing me. Oh, okay. Let's throw on our song. Make ourselves feel a little bit better. What if I told oh. you the public was now under the control of the Dark Lord of the Sith? There's a three dollar shard pack? Ooh. Mm. I might have to get that. Okay. Here we go. We are becoming the Jar Jar Empire here. Oh gosh. Uh, let's hit this. That was a cool animation. That was freaking sick. That's right, that one's on AoE. I gotta learn how these guys' kit works. So. Uh, drop it over to him. Get that frenzy up. Or just kill him off. Oh yeah, all hail Lord Jar Jar. Dude, we're, we have an emoji being worked on. It'll be ready by Jar Jar, I promise. Hail Lord Jar Jar. 
Okay. Oh, uh, we'll do this ability first. Um, we'll hit that. Jeez. Okay, and then we're gonna pass to you, getting that frenzy up. AOE, pass it back. And big hit on the one guy. And basic. You wanna give me the $30 relic pack, then I'll give you the shard pack? I mean, yeah, I'm fine with that. Are you still in the guild by Irishman? I heard you were gonna move on soon. Uh, yeah, if you're still in the guild, absolutely, I'll do that. I'll do it right now, dude. <clears throat> Literally, on stream right now, if you send it to me and it shows up, I will send it to you right here on stream. Your alt is Zentrix. Let's take a look. Yeah, if you send it right now, and, and as soon as it shows up in the inbox, I'll send it to you. Mostly because, honestly, I, I'm sorry, but I don't necessarily trust you. And there's someone that I can trust a bit more in the guild because he's a good friend of mine. But if you're down to do that, I am down to do that for you. Zentrix, 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 Zentrix. Zentrix, where, where is it? Zentrix, Zentrix. Just did? Okay, I'll take a look. Uh, Zentrix. Where are you? Zentrix, Zentrix. Eh? Eh? There's Zentrix. Okay. Sweet. Awesome. Okay, so you're near the top. Your alt is in Kyber as well? Jeez. Okay. Um, let's throw on... Uh, where is it? Okay. Let's, let's take a look. Make sure it's popping up. Okay. We're going to do another event while we wait for it to pop up. And then as soon as it pops up, I'll send it back. Okay. I'm assuming this should work. We have some solid gear levels on people. Ooh, we have new gun right now. Okay, we're going to start off the same way that we did before. Uh, let's try and get that B1 out here as soon as we can. Um, yeah, let's just finish off the... Let's actually pass it to Boss Nass. I actually like this better. Yeah, like that was... Wow. That That is the turn right there. That is beautiful. I love this team. Okay. Sounds good, healer. You have a great day. Oh, Andy, don't say that. Hey! Oh, dude, we have the Gungan Phalanx portrait. Got some Omicrons as well. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Okay, so basically what we need to hit to be able to hit full amount of shards is all we need to hit is six star. As soon as we hit six star, we have enough. So since he bought us the $30 pack, we should be there. Put it on. Oh, but then I get I lose my bane. Okay, fine. We'll put it on. Where where is it? There it is. We got Boss Nass. We got him. Yeah, there we go. I'm uh, fine. I'll get rid of. No, I don't want Phalanx. Phalanx isn't great. We're just gonna do the better general. Name tag two. Okay, sounds good, Avocat. The song you sent me over Discord. Where? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I yeah, I played that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we also have an element uh, for people. I okay. I gotta say, I'm keeping the better general mostly because it's a hilarious flex, especially when we uh, we see people in Grand Arena that have like the you know general uh, of the 501st and things like that, where where they have like general in their name and then there's just the better general. It's such a funny flex, and I love it. Um, okay, so here in the inbox, I think we have our Irishman. Yup. Okay. Sweet. Let's claim that. Thank you, Irishman, for coming in clutch. My guildies are amazing. And there's the last of the shards we need. Oh. 
$160 is how much it total cost me to get there. Uh, oh, how do I get the better general title? I don't remember, honestly. I, I genuinely don't remember. Here, we can we can see if it tells me. Uh, oh, it's beat the beat the gas event. <clears throat> okay, we got one more thing to spend on, really quick, guys. Boss Nass. Oh no, did they not give me enough shards to get there? Oh good, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, there's our first seven star gun gun guys. Uh, you too, Advocat. Uh, gear 13 boss. I. I'm close. Let's see if I can do it. Well, well we can at least take him up to gear 12. That's not what I wanted. A raid from who? <laughs> Welcome those who are raiding. We're just spending way too much right. Oh, it's Scribe. Thanks, Scribe, for coming in with the raid. Yeah, I, I'm just spending way too much money right now on our Gungans. We just got our 7-star boss, Nass. We have a 6-star Gungan Phalanx. Oh. <laughs> oh, gosh. Spending so much money today. But hey, it's a damn good time here at the Beaver Dam. Uh. Basically, yeah, whale or fail. Okay, so we have the seven star. Let's complete the next tier. Okay, we have the five, the fifth tier unlocked now. We are now guaranteed a seven star phalanx. Oh, that hurt my soul. For those of you who are raiding, if any of you want to donate to the Ajar Jar Jar Jar, please do. It helps me out. And I promise, Jar Jar Clinks. Okay, so the play was hit this one. And then we phalanx it up. And then we pass it back over to Boss Nass. And then rip up those debuffs across everyone. Uh, and then big AoE. Perfect. Absolutely destroyed, dude. Okay, and it's official. We're, we're officially guaranteed a seven star phalanx it'll take us a couple days to get there we are guaranteed a seven star phalanx plus we might be able to do Ooh, that is super nice some oh that is stuff that i really needed honestly sick that is awesome dude okay oh yeah so requires a seven star phalanx and then requires three star of other gungans and so we can get this tier done as well uh at least the last day maybe the last two days Boss and ass the sprinkler. Ugh. I, I'm just imagining just like the spittle flying out over the yard. Ugh. Okay, so let's see if we can get Boss Nass to up to at least gear 12 just right now, just for fun. Ugh. Oh, come on, you're killing me. How many of these do we need? That's two sets of them. Just two sets of them. Okay. Grab that. Binoculars. Sweet binoculars. Okay. Uh, do we have enough of the other gold thing to be able to do this? Yeah, we do. Okay, fine, fine. We're wantonly spending today, guys. We're wantonly spending. Our first Gungan to gear 12, the beautiful Boss Nass. Oh, gosh. Oh, and he requires Dark Side Kyrotex. Gosh, okay. 
We have a solid start to ha towards having him gear 13, honestly. I'm not I'm not going for gear 13 today, though, because gear 13 would bankrupt me. Like, I can't spend any more money than I already have today. It's it's already crazy. Uh Max mods on the Gungans. Yeah, yeah, I'll do what I can. Yeah, they require a ton of Kyrotex. They are like the equivalent of um, Inquisitors. And so like uh, each one requires 300, 400 Kyrotex each. So yeah, they, they, uh, they require a lot. But there we go, guys. We have some Gungans lying around now. Do we have a Galactic Challenge right now that we can try out this Gungan team? Dang, we don't have one going on. That's so sad. I was going to be like, oh, yeah, let's take him in and actually try him against something. Uh, I know I spent $100 and no one donated. It's rough. I know. But hey, people have donated to the jar, 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 jar. Does not make up for the amount I've spent. I, in total at this point, uh, have spent $400 just for shards overall. Uh, and then on top of that for gear, I've spent roughly another 150. And so I have put a 550 into the Jar Jar fund, uh, total, and I've only gotten 365 minus what YouTube takes as a cut. And so you guys have paid for about half, which I appreciate, but this is basically as far as I can go for spending money. At this point, I, uh, we're looking at moving the Beaver Dam soon to a different state, and so I'm going to have to go into super budget mode. So, uh, yeah, uh, Jar Jar is looking like it'll be a marquee event similar or uh, a legendary event similar to Mommy Mandalore or similar to uh, more similar to what is their name? Cal Kestis, because this is an epic confrontation. Uh, and so this is supposed to be slightly different. The tiers are a little different on how they do them. We're supposed to have a regular legendary event for Jar Jar. So, oh, wow. They're all coming back. Interesting. Huh. But yeah. Uh, yeah, kind of like Afra, but Afra is a legacy legendary event versus being a legendary event. I do love how the backgrounds all kind of create one picture. I, I do like that a lot. Whoever was in charge of designing this, I think was it was really, really cool. Daring droid mythic event. Dude, it hurts my soul. We could be at Mommy Mandalore right now, but we decided to go for Gungans instead. So close. Uh, okay. So yeah, we have our Gungans now, and we will slowly be farming them up. Let's uh, let's add them to our squads tab really quick. So create new squad, and the Gungans. Like overall, I I wish I had people to test against in my squad arena shard because I honestly think these guys could probably, at the level they are, take down a uh, a pretty solid. Separatist team, team, like a gear 12 Separatist team at this low of star and gear, I think is still possible. Sad our opponent kind of gave up. Okay, let's jump into uh, some roster reviews because we can't purchase shards for anyone right yet, right? Where is uh, Tarples? Tarples, we still need lots of shards for. What is this? An extra 30 shards for Tarples for 20 bucks. Uh, to get a roster review, jump into the Discord. There's a roster review section. You put it there, and we go through the list. If you want to jump the list and be first, then you just have to donate any amount, um, and you'll be able to jump the line, basically. But otherwise, you can throw it in chat. And if you throw it in chat, then we just get to it last. The Discord link is in the description of this video. Fine. Yes, you can donate for a fast pass. Okay. Uh, okay. 
That hurt my soul a bit. <clears throat> okay. Misa, think of something. Uh, what? I'm. Uh, I'm gambling, guys. I'm gambling. Trust me, there's a reason to my gamble, though. Okay. That it didn't actually matter that we win the gamble. It was just to make it so that way. Uh, now we can, as soon as the rollover for the weekly shipments, we'll get the 25 and the 50 and we'll immediately be halfway to 7 star, so. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna jump into those roster reviews. My Gungans, my Gungans. Now the one one I'm actually worried about is the Gungan Boomadeer. Because we're going to have to save up all the gear we need for gear 12 to gear 13. Uh, and just go all in on this guy as soon as he drops in shipments. Because when he drops in shipments, will be like the same week that Jar Jar comes to the game, I'm pretty sure. So, it's going to be an interesting one. Um, now that we've kind of used our... Uh, we've gotten some more uh, of these. We're just going to drop a couple. These are both Zetas. Um, that's a Zeta, right? Yep, that's a Zeta. Uh, not you. This one. Okay, and then that's all we can afford for now, because we need the Zeta. Oh, uh, we do want Raise to Shield. Raise to Shield is super helpful, so we are going to take a Raise to Shield. Sweet. Okay. Our Gungans are now stacked, my friends. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Jumping into roster reviews. We got a solid list of looks like one, two, three, four, five. Um, PHX, did you ever say what your name was in uh, YouTube or in uh, Discord? I don't know. So we'll, we'll kind of just keep going from the start and keep going. Phoenix. Okay, so you're our first on the list anyways. Perfect. <clears throat> okay, so Phoenix, you said started SLKR farming today, uh, meaning the ticket grind, right? Not the uh, actual characters because it looks like you haven't finished. Just wondering what I should focus on after that. Have all the... L okay, if you have all the light speed bundles, have done a lot... All the light speed bundles? Important distinction. We'll talk about it in a sec. I've done a lot of shards, for, uh, sharding for different characters for different teams. and slightly started to work on their teams. Okay. Sick. Okay, so this is the first thing that I want you to work on as soon as you're finished with SLKR. This should be your first major farm. Get your Star Killer up to Relic. You already have the Omicron. Get yourself a Relic 5 Star Killer. So that is the first thing that I want you to work on. And then jump right into Ray, honestly. After SLKR, just jump right into Ray. Um... Just get your other Galactic Legend out of the way. Uh, you already have your Zori ready to go. You just need to get her up to gear 9, drop a Zeta, and you're ready to go on that. And you're just looking at some, you know, gear levels for uh, for these characters. Question, who would you say is the weakest Star Killer requirement? The, the weakest? Like the, the least good, Andy? Um, give me just a second, I'll answer your question. Uh, you're also going to want to get the Finn Zeta as soon as possible, so that way you can use your Gear 9 Zori with a Finn team even before you go for Ray. So that is going to be super, super important, but don't let that take away from your SLKR uh, Zetas. I want you to have at least three Zetas on SLKR before you decide to go anywhere else, because you want to get through the SLKR event. <clears throat> Speaking of the SLKR event, let's just make sure that you have the Zetas. You have the Zetas. Perfect. Have all of them hoarded up. Okay, you have all six hoarded up? Uh, because if you have six hoarded up, what I would do is I would drop the one on Finn right now and get your Zori up to gear nine to get you an immediate team right now. And then just leave one Zeta off of SLKR because his basic isn't necessary, really. So you have seven of them. Yeah, so I'd drop one on Finn right now. Uh, you can drop the other one on Zori if you want to, but drop the one on Finn right now and start getting your resistance hero Finn very, very quick. Don't grab his Zeta, grab the regular Finn Zeta, but make sure this guy's really fast and you'll have an amazing defensive team that will annoy the crap out of your opponents. But then I want you to jump into the Ray overall. Just get your Ray, get your SLKR, get them into your roster. You'll be able to do Proving Grounds and all of that. In the meantime, one of the best farms you could possibly do with stuff you've already got built up is going to be an Executor. 
which means you're already working on IG 2000. I can see you already got it to six star, which is great, but I need you to be picking up Razor Crest shards every time they pop up in the fleet store. So make sure that you're saving at least 400 um, of the fleet currency at any given moment to pick that up. Perfect, perfect. So Ray into, uh, so finish SLKR, Star Killer, Ray, Executor, your account will be set up to go anywhere in the game at that point. <clears throat> if you want a direction, I'm going to say the Rebels, because the Lightspeed Bundles really set you up to go Rebels. Uh, and so I'd be picking up Wampa Shards if you don't already have Wampa. I'm not seeing a Wampa in here. So I'd be picking up Wampa Shards with your Mark II Raid currency. I'd be picking it up with your, uh, you know, Get One currency. Uh, just get going towards that area. Wampa is 7 star. Okay, then get your Hoda. If you don't already have Hoda, get your Hoda. You're almost done with your Hoda. Perfect, yeah. So you're already getting the work in. Let's just check on your Rolo, because that's the last one that you're, I'm really worried about. You have Cholo. Rolo is five stars. Okay, so you're going to have to work on your Rolo. But yeah, that would be my suggestion for order of operations for you is SLKR, Star Killer, Ray, Executor, JML, or Jabba, just depending on what you are feeling. Um, but either of those I think are good. So Jedi Knight Luke into JML or Jabba. Uh, let's take a look at your mods overall. Mara Jade being your fast is great, but you really need to relic up that Star Killer to go with it. Your mods are looking pretty bad at the current moment, which happens when it comes to newer accounts that have light speed bundles. So I would consider dropping a couple crystal refreshes into farming mods and farming mod uh, materials. If you want a good farming guide as well as a good filter to use, go check out my mod farming playlist. Got a great video in there for you. <clears throat> It's where you're lacking most, yeah. Uh, as for Andy, your question about what is the weakest character when it comes to the um, Star Killer grind, I definitely think the weakest character is Kyle Katarn because he has no Jedi synergy whatsoever, and his synergy is just super, super niche. And most people don't have a Rebel Fighter team unless they've gone for specifically JML, and so he's basically the worst one out of the four. Just looking at it from a blanket standpoint of being like who's the most plug and play viable these mara jade i can use in a million different scenarios uh you know i can use um talon on any sith team i can use uh what's his bucket um why is my brain farting dash rendar with any scoundrels really really great but kyle katarn is just so locked into his team that it's just he's not great so are there any core you should focus on before uh honestly no uh the nice thing about lightspeed bundles is it kind of gives you a good setup of teams that you don't really need to go after core teams for a bit because you have like a Dash Rendar team, you're going to have a Finn Zori team, you're going to have a Star Killer team, you're going to have a Phoenix team. I hope you have a Krex in here. Uh, I haven't checked it yet, but Krex. You need to farm up Krex, get them up to two stars, three stars, gear nine. And you're immediately going to have a better time with this team, with that, over any of these relic characters. So go Hera, Chopper, Kanan, Sabine, and Krex at gear 9. And this is going to be one heck of a team. We'll throw them on defense, offense. It's going to be a great team for you. Uh, but as for, like, side farms, I honestly think you should just push through all of your farms currently. And then after you finish those th uh, those three, so SLKR, Ray, and Executor, is when you can start spreading outwards. Uh, hence the reason you're going for, like, Jedi Knight Luke. You get a CLS team and you get the start of a Jedi team. You can finish your Imperial Troopers and get your Dark Trooper and your Veers up to Gear 12. Dark Trooper should be Relic 5 because of your Executor farm. Uh, and, you know, get, getting that CLS team fully finished before you go for Jedi Knight Luke... I highly suggest. So I would build out once you finish those major farms. <clears throat> yeah, healer. Krex's Kairos do start a little later than most people. CLS after Ray, you certainly can. You have a CLS in your in your uh, stuff right now. Uh, and I don't think it's going to be a bad thing. So like you have CLS. Let's take a look. You said you just started SLKR farming? 
I'm proud of you for getting the three pock. Yeah, honestly, yeah, you could throw it in there. You have the characters done. You have the C-3PO. You have the three pock. You have the Chewie. So yeah, 100%. Take a break and get those characters in if you want to. The one problem I have with the CLS team being an in-between farm uh, after Ray is the simple reason that it's a very high Zeta farm. Uh, and that's why I would steer clear of it personally. But if it's your PP, pee -pee, it's your PP. Go for that passion project. I am fine with a little PP. Pee -pee. Everyone should have a little PP. Pee -pee. And those who do have a little PP pee -pee should never be shamed for it. So, up to you, my friend. Samu, I am two relic levels away from unlocking the ray event. Is it worth just sending it and using all the gear I have left for the materials? <laughs> hmm. You're close to the Relic 7s, aren't you? I wouldn't. I struggle very hard. Very hard, Samu. Sorry, I clicked on the wrong thing. I meant to click on the salvage. Scavenger. I struggle very hard to justify breaking down anything for Electrium Conductors or Zinbittles. Because you can get both of these with the raid currency and it's super easy. So I would take the time and wait... Uh, instead of full sending, I'd rather have these gear on me at any given time. So, like this right here, this is just me saving up over the months of getting Zimbittles and Electrium Conductors. This is where all of my Get 3 go. So, I, I definitely think that you should wait. Uh, unless you're, like, really locked in and you're like, I need this GL before I hit, um, uh, before I hit Grand Arena in 5v5 then go for it if it's a panic farm go for it but like if you're just like you're gonna hit it anyways by the time 5v5 sh uh, starts up i'd wait like if you got another uh another raid coming wait it's fine you you don't need raid right this moment and you can unlock ray pretty quickly so chromium transistors let's let's take a look Hey, Ify, welcome. It has, it's been a while. Welcome, welcome, my friend. Uh, chromium transistors, these things right here. The, these ones, the Mark 7 Ba, are super, super easy. Because you just end up with a lot of the materials while farming Kyrotex and other things. That These are super easy to make. So you just craft them up. Uh, and so right here, you've got tons of these. And then these little guys right here, you can just request them from your guild, and most people aren't looking for them. And so you can request them from your guild and get 10 of them and immediately get some good stuff for Chromium Transistors. And so if you're, like, looking at this right here, uh, jumping in with, like, this, we'll just refresh, you know. Really easy to get a whole bunch of these guys. And so I got 32 of them. That'll be 36 total, or is just 32 total. And then I've got, you know, 1,385. And so, oh, Samu coming in with the 249. Thank you, my friend. You are awesome. And so then I can just make a whole bunch of these. Uh, and then I can just, just like that, I already have 57 more. So that's how I do chromium transistors. They're super, super nice. Uh, the other thing that you can do is keep an eye on your shop. Uh, I honestly do this for all of them. Uh, so the guild activity, so this currency right here, the guild tokens, I don't spend any of it here for the most part, and I just spend it on these last three because you can get stuff that go towards your, uh, scavenger. And so I spend almost exclusively on, once again, I hit events. I spend almost exclusively on those because you can get chromium transistors, bronzium wiring, and carbonite circuit boards just through doing those. Uh, so like right there, we just got another 10 of these for really, really cheap. And that's another 33 chromium transistors. So there you go. Yeah, no problem, healer. I'm glad I can help. Hmm. That's why you didn't relic Starkiller right away. Yeah, that's fine, PHX. So as soon as you're finished with Stark or Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, jump into that Starkiller. Yep, Zeon, or however you say your name exactly, yes. The, those are the, the disc thingies that he's talking about. Jar Jar is now uneven. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, it's, it's no longer an even number. <gasps> How dare you, Samu? Thanks for the 249 euros. <clears throat> okay. Jumping into Meatnar? What is Meatnar's name in the stream? Mm. 
Little Meat Chris. I'm Meatnar. I'm Meatnar, destroyer of worlds. Yeah, we need someone to fix that. Where's our sugar daddy when we need him? How dare he not show up? <clears throat> okay, so Meatnar, you're almost done with Executor. Congratulations, dude. That is huge for your account. Then I'm going to go for Jedi Knight Luke, and then I don't know what GL I want next after that. That is an excellent question with where your roster is at. Um, going for more core teams. You could go for more core teams, honestly. Like, it's, it's not a bad thing to go for core teams. Um, first things first, I want you to Relic your Savage. As soon as you're done with your Executor farm, Relic your Savage, because that's a team that you're sleeping on already. Um, oh, also, because he donated to the Jar Jar Jar, we gotta make Jar Jar clink. Um, so... <clears throat> Okay, here's what I would do if I were you and I was trying to build, uh, if I were trying to build more teams. Uh, my typical overall idea for how you should build up and out is you should build up first, and then as soon as you hit a plateau where you don't have enough teams in a area of Grand Arena and you've basically stripped your defense of offensive teams and you're throwing everything on offense and you're still out of teams, you start building outwards. And then as you build more and more teams, you start shunting things to defense as you have room, and you kind of just keep swapping between those. Excuse me. Uh, that is fine, Little Meat Chris. Do not waste Zetas just because you want to spend them. It is great to have a group of them like that. Too many people have way too few Zetas lying around. But if you're looking to build outwards, here is my teams that I would build outwards with. I would build a Imperial Trooper team, I'd finish this Savage, and I'd get yourself a Jedi Knight Revan. I don't know if you already have him, but if you don't, you should have him. I didn't see him on the initial look, and I don't see him now. So those would be my three that I would say go for. Um, so going for Jedi Knight Revan will give you a Jedi Knight Revan, Jedi Knight Luke team that's going to be absolutely banger. Going for Dark Trooper up to Relic 5, Veers up to Gear 12, and a couple other troopers. I don't care who they are. They could be Gear 9 for all I care. Going to give you a really great Imperial Trooper team. You're never going to struggle against Darth Revan again. Getting Savage, you're going to be able to solo CLSs. You're going to be able to solo all kinds of things. And then you're going into Jedi Knight Luke, which will fit in with your Jedi Knight uh, Revan, as well as get you a CLS team up and running. And those, those will be some solid teams to build outwards that won't take a ton of investment on your side because you're already going for executor uh cal i would wait until you finish jml but if it's a pp you can go for it because once you have jedi knight revan and jedi knight luke you can add cal to that mix and those three can take down slkr and 5v5 like cal is not going to be a bad thing once you have jedi knight revan and jedi knight luke in your account but if it's a pp i get it you can get it earlier up to you i would usually wait until post jml Excuse me. Um, you can also use it as just a Malgus counter up until that point and have Jedi Knight Luke, Jedi Master, or Jedi Knight Revan, Jedi Knight Luke as a team, and then Cal with like Bastila for um, for Malgus. So great side farm. Up to you when you want to put that PP. I, I don't care where you put the PP as long as it's a good PP. So. <clears throat> Uh, looking at just everything, those are the four teams that I would say you can build outwards, and then at that point, I would start pushing towards Jabba or JML. JML's gonna be really, really close for you, uh, so JML might be the best option. You'll have a second offensive GL, and it'll fit with that PP of wanting, uh, wanting yourself a, uh, Cal Kestis. Because you look at your JML requirements already, and let's go to your Rebels. You already have CLS, you already have Chewbacca, you see 3 po Han Solo, uh, you have Old Ben at Relic 3 of 5, you have Wedge and Tilly's finished, you have Akbar fin uh, almost done, you have Lando 3 of 5, you have um, 3 Pocket Gear 12, you have Biggs done, you're already like halfway to getting yourself a JML, and so I would probably, if I were you, do those four teams, JML, then Jabba, and that'll set up your account for success forever. 
you really enjoy ships, uh, let's take a look at your ships and kind of see what you've done so far and see where you're going with it. <clears throat> so you have the echelon. I love seeing that. Okay, Luke Skywalker's your favorite character. Yeah, go all in for JML, dude. The, the, the perfect PP, the perfect PP will always be when it coincides with something you love in canon and something that's good in the game. That is the perfect PP for you. Like the perfect PP for me was gas. I loved gas because it was the perfect farm where I got General Grievous who I like, I got gas who I like, and I love them in canon. And then on top of that, their kits are cool. So love the fact that you have the echelon and i love the fact that you're going for your executor i do want to take a side note and say your best car mandalorian should get relic asap <clears throat> oh yeah dude get get ourselves like a jedi knight luke red five or honestly what i would actually see happening is a farm boy luke uh a farm boy luke uh red five to make us relic up our farm boy lukes that is my personal opinion is how i would see cg doing it to make the most money out of it but regardless, uh, going in here, your next fleet should be this. You should be working on Iden Versio TDC uh, and getting yourself a Chimera fleet going. You don't necessarily need uh, Thrawn at really high gears to get this off the ground by any means because Iden Versio is the main, like, just engine of this team. So this would be the next team I would suggest for fleets. And keep in mind, you, you are going for Rebels which means you have some rebel ships already done and you're going to be going into getting more. So start buying up the shards now for the U-Wings and start getting all the stuff that you need to be able to work on the profundity later down the road. So. <clears throat> Dude, Fordo would be awesome. <clears throat> I finished my resistance ships just to do it. Heck yeah. Oh, and the come up and sexy, sexy, sexy. I love seeing it, my friend. Okay, yeah. So I would do Chimera into um, Chimera, and then from Chimera go into the uh, what were we just talking about? Sorry, my brain just farted hard right there. Into the Rebel Fleet because then you can do JML into Profundity. And honestly, if you can go JML into Profundity after everything we've talked about, I think you'll be up in Kyber with like zero problems. Like, honestly. <clears throat> Let's take a look at your mods. You want your first order officer slightly faster your, than your Hux. It is definitely super, super nice. Uh, yes, you do need the Rebel Y-Wing at 6 star for JML, so start working on that now. Thank you, Iffy, for pointing that out. <clears throat> okay. Hux... You want slightly slower than First Order Officer because it allows you to Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. You poke, and then you pass the turn over with First Order Officer, and you slash, and then Hux passes the turn and resets it, and you poke again, and then you can slash again on his next turn. And so that is the turn order that you want to get the most out of your Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, especially in Proving Grounds and in Lord Vader and Jabba uh, matches. So definitely something to look at. Uh, I do love seeing your Mara Jade over 300 speed, so keep working on that. Try and get it up to 330. Same with your Piet. 330 is kind of the area that you want both of these characters. That is a pretty harsh falloff between the two. So, yes, this is a Lightspeed Bundle account. Try to put in a couple Crystal Refreshes and getting mods. If you need a good filter and make sure that you're not going over on, you know, how much you're investing into mods that you get, go check out my mod farming videos. They should help you out as well as getting the best mods on each character. But, yeah, looking like you have some solid idea on how mods work. It's just you need to keep working on your mods. How good is JML with JK, without JKCK? Um, great. I mean, he still takes out other GLs. He still takes out, you know, uh, JMK. Um, you know, he's still a great character in general. It's just, you know, with JKCK, he can take out Leia uh, much more easily. He can take out JMK much more easily. JMK is definitely a lifter for him and not the end-all be-all. Like, JML is not like JMK, where JMK is worthless without Cat. It's more of he's already a good GL. Um, so, like, JMK without Cat. JMK with a Cat. JML without JKCK. 
JML without uh, or with JKCK. And so his improvement isn't as much as uh, J, uh, JMK overall, uh, but it does help a ton. So many mod materials saved up. You're such a hoarder. Start spending them, dude, but spend them smartly. Go look at that video. Okay, let's jump into the next person. We got um, Constantinos. Constantinos, are you here still? I will have to leave here in about 40 minutes because I got to make my lunch before I head to work, especially because I can't afford to spend any more money today. <laughs> Okay. Whoop de doo. You just finished Leia and you're working on Darth Revan Malak and JML after that. Okay. Thinking of profanity after, but not sure. Maybe Galactic Republic gas instead. How much did I spend today, Caleb? I spent, let's see, I spent $200 on crystals, $30 on uh, the pack. $30 on the pack, so that's $260. Uh, and then I did um, $20 on the last pack. So that is a total of $280 today. <clears throat> and so, yeah, I've spent most of what's in our Jar Jar Tip Jar on just this one day versus, you know, how much I've spent already, which was an additional about $300. So, yeah. I am straight poor and not doing great, so I'm going to be in super budget mode as I get ready to move the beaver dam to a different state. It was painful, but I'm justifying the purchases at this point because of the fact that we have some generosity from uh, Joe Correa, who uh, got us to a point where we're not, like, dying because he uh, gifted 40 subs. <clears throat> Okay, so Constantinos, you just finished Leia. You're working on Darth Revan and Malak now. JML after that, thinking of profanity after, but not sure. Maybe Galactic Republic gas. Yes. Okay, got it. Um, I don't think this is the right person. This is the same account. Control C. Okay. Joe is the damn best. There's a reason that he has a permanent spot on our final screen. <clears throat> you started your account last January for reference. Awesome, dude. Already having Leia is great. Okay, so you bought the Lightspeed bundle. Um, uh, okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> ADP coming with the 202. Oh, nice. Very nice ADP. I see what you're doing. I love it. Welcome, our damn sugar daddy. <clears throat> Don't have the others? Yeah, that's fine. I love the fact that you have a Jedi Knight Revan in here. I would like to see that Jedi Knight Revan relict. Very much so. Uh, I think your path is great. I don't think you should shift to gas. I think you should continue on your path. It is the most efficient way, and you'll get a, a defensive and an offensive Galactic Legend. You'll be able to throw Leia on defense, and then you'll bring JML on offense. So I think that is excellent for you. Uh, and then there's ADP coming in the 202, bringing us up to 369.69. Uh, $2 closer to make, making me feel less bad about spending $280 today. And thank you, ADP, for making the Jar Jar Clinks. <clears throat> How much is 40 gifted subs in dollars? Uh, are you referring to before or after the YouTube takes their cut? Um, let me do the math. A hundred and twenty dollars if it's gifted at the base membership. So a hundred and twenty dollars with YouTube taking their cut is going to be about um eighty four dollars. No, he, he donated 40 gifted, and then he purchased his own at the very top tier, which was an additional uh, $100 for our top tier here at the Beaver Dam. So, 
yeah, so it would be $84 uh, for the first set of gifted subs, and then he donated, after YouTube takes its cut, another $70. So a total of $154 uh, after YouTube takes its cut. And so that's the only thing that's keeping me like put together and spending this much money. And so I, I'm not even going to get that for more than a month, because uh, it was at the very beginning of the month which kind of pains me to be honest. And so it'll, it, I won't get it for a month and a half from now, but Hey, trusting in the system, we're going to be okay. We'll be fine. If I have to eat ramen for the next couple of weeks to be able to do this for you guys, I'm fine with that. <clears throat> Seven star negotiator though. I, uh, do I put the fleet pilots on hold for after profanity? I would, because I would much rather you be in the top 10 of your fleet arena permanently. And so getting yourself a uh, another meta ship is going to be very, very, very helpful. So you have your executor, grab your profanity. It'll give you a much better way to take out those pesky leviathans, as well as just a much better defense. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, Zeon, uh, remind me ramen and like, 30 seconds after I'm done monologuing. Um, here's the thing. I think you should go for the route you're going for, but, 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 that's the derogatory term for but in sign language, but, um, but, if the raid comes around and they start announcing the people and it includes Galactic Republic and Separatists like we theorize, I would switch to gas. And so finishing JML, finishing Darth Revan, finishing your Jedi Knight Revan, finishing all of that will give you the time until the raid starts coming around, and then you can plan for and switch accordingly. And so it'll be up to you. But that will be my suggestion, is go full on for the profundity, uh, and assume that's your next goal. And then if they say that for the raid and you want to be a good guildmate, switch to gas. Finish gas, and then come back and finish profundity. I don't think it'll be a bad farm. I just think profundity is going to be better for your account unless they confirm that like Padme team and like the separatist uh, team with Grievous is going to be in the raid. So, uh, coming back to my other thing, I was talking about with Zeon Ramen. A new ramen joint opened up here in the town that I live in. And, oh my gosh, it was so incredibly bad. Like, I love ramen. I tried it, and I, I was, like, optimistic, and I'm like, okay, I'm willing to spend $30 to try this once uh, with my roommate, and if I don't like it, then I'm never coming here again. Uh, and then if I really do like it, I'll come here, like, once every couple of months as, like, you know, a celebration kind of thing. Uh, and I tasted it and it was the worst thing I've like ever had when it comes to ramen. The noodles were disgusting. The broth was tasteless. Uh, the meat was okay, but it was like smoked meats. Like you'd have in like Southern food. Like it was awful from front to back. And like my roommate almost threw up eating it. Like it was so incredibly bad and it hurt my soul. So. <laughs> if I happen to win the lottery next week, I'll donate the remaining tip jar. jar. Hey. Fair enough. I appreciate it, dude. I will, I will hold you uh, uh, to that. <laughs> if you win the lottery, you better be pushing some my way. <laughs> uh, my dad and I have this stupid thing we always say where uh, he, uh, he always asks at the end of the phone call, is there anything you need? And I'm like, a million dollars. He's like, uh, I'll give you my second one. So counting on that too, dad. Come on, hurry up and make that second million dollars for me. You can't eat ramen? Oh, that's so sad, healer. I'm sorry. Ramen's delicious. Uh, okay, let's take a look at your mods. Piet being your fastest is good. I like seeing that. And it's over 300 speed, which is good to see. Uh, honestly, I'm liking where this account is going, my friend. Keep it going. I do want to check your Leia. What are you allergic to specifically? If you don't mind sharing. Um, quick side note for your Leia. I do love your Leia's mods. Um, this is one of the few Galactic Legends that's like an immediate Relic 8, Relic 9. Um, any kind of tank Galactic Legend, specifically JML or Leia, some of the best ones you can throw high relics on. So I'm not saying you need to, I'm saying that if you want to, you can, and you're going to get your most bang for buck out of it. And gosh, that song scared the shiz out of me. And because of that, I'm skipping it. Screw you, buddy. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Wagey, you still here? Oh, that's so painful, dude. I, uh, I could never be gluten-free. I would die on the spot, genuinely. Yeah, because her abilities are based off of max protection, max health kind of stuff, it makes it so, and plus she's a tank, uh, both things make it so she's amazing to be Relic 7, Relic 8, Relic 9, because they just give a huge boost to health and protection. Is Weiji still here? Hey, Weiji. Welcome, welcome. You're farming Jedi Knight Cal right now, which works out really well, because we're about to have... I don't know if you saw, but we're... <laughs> saw. Um, we're about to have a wave of extra drops for Jedi Knight Cal over the next couple of weeks. Uh, so keep an eye out leading up to Jedi Knight Cal coming back permanently. It looks like we're going to have a whole bunch of different... Uh, things where you can farm shards for the characters, and if you have seven stars, then you can farm gear for the characters. So, really, really cool stuff looking like coming around. Uh, you're planning for Jabba next. I don't think Jabba's a bad farm necessarily. It can be, but I don't think it, it's a bad farm necessarily. Terrible time fighting it with Lee. I don't know how to do it with Leia. I but I'm pretty sure Leia works. Let's check. Uh, so Ray with the Holdo Cron. Yeah, it's a 91% win rate. Yeah, like it looks like it's it's not too bad. I don't know. I couldn't tell you offhand what you do. I don't know enough about Leia myself, but it looks like it's just it it just wins. Like it doesn't look like it's a, a necessarily a hard battle. Like there's a couple of these that are like missing protection, and health, and stuff. Yeah. Uh, also, keep in mind with the Holdocron that you're going against, you're going to want to make sure that you damage everyone to the point where they get below 100% health, and then you focus down on Rey. Once you, once you do that, then you can start focusing down, but until you get all of them down below 100%, you're going to be stuck. And so I highly suggest gunning down Holdo below 100% first, because she stacks up so much protection up, and then work through the whole team. Once you get them all below with that 100% health, then you can just start dealing tons of damage to a specific person and kill them off. Okay, mm. Weiji. Weiji, Weiji, Weiji. Okay. So obviously JML is closer than Jabba. It's pretty typical. I'm not seeing a whole bunch of holes. Like, I see you have a Relic 5 Dark Trooper. You have a Relic 5 Aiden. You have a Relic 5 Savage. I'm loving kind of your your side farms. You're doing a great job of finishing side farms. You have a full CLS, right? Yep, you have a full CLS done. What does your Jedi look like? You have Jedi Knight Revan, and you're pretty close to Jedi Knight Luke, it looks like. And so Jedi Knight Cal is not going to be a bad farm right now. So yeah, overall... Looking like a sexy account, I don't think Jabba's going to be bad for you. In fact, I think it's probably the best thing you could do. Just for the simple reason that it'll give you good mods, and you already have a solid basis of characters. Besides, you already have the Relicate requirement for, uh, <laughs> for Jabba, so there's no point in switching farms at this point. Yeah, not even a bad mod fall off. So yeah, you're doing great. Your account looks fantastic. I, I don't really have anything specific that I'm like, ah, you need to change that. You're doing great work, dude. Um, you got a relic. Bam. Hey, Crimson. Welcome, welcome. Uh, not much, dude. We're just spending a lot of money. So far, we are up to $280 spent today for the Gungans. So. But hey. Jar Jar Clinks. 
so just just a little bit of pain. Yeah, so I think you're on the right path. I would probably do Jabba if you if you're looking for like the best way to push up and stay in like high kyber. Uh, I would probably do Jabba into Profundity and to JML if I were you. Uh, but otherwise, your count's looking great. Quick side note, uh, once you do get your uh, Jabba done, I know that you have a Relic 9 Darth Bane right here, and you have a Relic 8 Ray, which means you kind of have either some disposable income, or you're really fine with just using a lot of your materials, and I love seeing that. I do want to encourage a Relic 8 Kersantan and a Relic 8 Bosch as soon as you finish Jabba. So I would do Jabba, Relic 8 those two characters. It, trust me, not only will it help with just keeping people out of your Jabba and making it harder for them to counter it, uh, it also helps with a Smuggler's Run 2. <clears throat> Basically makes it so you can just do the beginning of Smuggler's Run 2 and then hit auto for the rest of it. So... Yeah, Relic 9 Hut Cartel is going to be amazing if you can afford it, but at least a Relic 8 Kersantan and Bosch is going to be huge. So, uh, and then after that, Profanity JML, and I think you'll have no problem hanging out in Kyber permanently. Like, you, you might even be able to get to Kyber 2 at that point, uh, just kind of depending, but for sure, at least Kyber 3. Uh, Zeon, you still here? I didn't mean to go back in. Oh, very nice, Wagey. Wall. That's a nice guild for where you're at, geez. Okay, Zeon, finishing up Finalizer for SLKR, also finishing Rex for Executor, and planning for Negotiator Fleet and the Jedi Knight Luke into Jabba. Okay. So, Finalizer into SLKR, and then Executor. Is there a reason you're not going for Rey? Like, I get it, I don't like Ray either in canon, but you're kind of sleeping on not only a Zori team that you could have, which is absolutely amazing, uh, Zeon, but also you're sleeping on the fact that you just could have another GL in, like, you know, what is that? 2, 7, um, 14, yeah, 16 Relic levels? Doesn't matter if you don't have Ben, I get holds without Ben, dude. I haven't been using Ben forever, and I still get holds. A GL is a GL, especially on defense. Anyone that tells you that, you know, Ray is worthless as a GL without a, um, without Ben is lying to you. Oh, Crimson, so you got into something quite, uh, quite competitive. Went from being less competitive to more competitive. Jeez. <clears throat> Crimson, my uh, my Gungan Phalanx is six stars and counting. Uh, but yeah, so like, it's just, you're kind of sleeping on not only a Finn Zori team that gets me holds even in Kyber with a Gear 9 Zori, but you're also sleeping on just having another GL. Yeah, so I would do Finalizer into SLKR, uh, and then Ray, and then Executor. Uh, if you're close to Executor, you can go immediately, but I don't... Let's see how close you are. You have a 7-star Razor Crest, so yeah. Uh, you're close enough to Executor that, yeah, go for it. Get that Crystal Income. So yeah, Finalizer, SLKR, and then Executor, and then Ray, and then go Jedi Knight, Luke, and Jabba. I think that'll be better for you. Negotiator Pilots, I'm going to leave that up to you. I would cut that out personally until I'm sure about the raid, because if the raid is that way, great. If not, you know we can continue on for Jedi Knight Luke Jabba and get a good rebel uh, fleet going for you. So, uh, you did miss the whale, Dank. We spent $280 during this stream today. Like, I am in physical pain. <sighs> in physical pain. Like, uh... But yeah, so don't... 
don't sleep on kind of what you already have in your roster is basically what I'm saying to you. Yeah, and so you have enough Zetas to at least do the SLKR unlock. You, that's also enough Zetas if you budget your Zetas. That is enough Zetas to get the SLKR unlock, SLKR ultimate, and still have enough to start working on the Ray stuff and drop in that direction. But since you're taking a break with Executor, you can afford to, you know, spread them around. So w personally, what I would do is I would take five of your Zetas and throw them for the SLKR stuff. Let's just make sure that you have the Zetas for the SLKR event. You have Hux, you do need Kylo Ren Unmasked's Leadership Zeta. If you don't have it, you're gonna have to have some banger mods. I don't know how your mods are in general, but I would suggest that. It makes it a lot easier. Um, let's kind of take a look at your mods. You have some solid mods, and so if you're willing to move mods around for the event, that would be my suggestion to you. But you do need quite a bit more speed. That's some solid speed on Hux. I think you'll have enough speed to do it without the Kylo Ren Unmasked Zeta. Um, but, like, you're missing out on a lot of damage. So, I will warn you to be careful. If you want a 100% win rate, then just go ahead and drop that Kylo Ren Unmasked Zeta. Uh, I would also drop a Zeta on Finn. Get your Resistance Hero Finn speed up very high. Drop the Zeta on Finn. And then throw them with Zori, and you immediately have an amazing team that you can throw on defense. It's just Finn, Resistance Hero Finn, Resistance Hero Poe, uh, as well as Rose Tico. You can also use this in, like, uh, you know, Conquest and things like that, and it does great things. So. Yeah, dank. I got, I got to six star. So, the $280 was to finish Boss Nass to seven star. Here, we'll, we'll just show you what, where we are. Uh, in just a sec. But yeah, so overall, I'm liking where your account is going. Your mods are looking good, which is great. But I'd say just don't sleep on that Ray. Um, I honestly would probably put off negotiator pilots for a while. You can. It's up to you. I wouldn't until you have SLKR in your roster. Once you have SLKR in your roster, I would say hard conquest is a sure thing. But for now, I'd probably stick to normal if I were you. But once you have SLKR in this roster, I think you'll have zero problems. Where's the Separatist? If, also, if you relic up your B2, your B1, your Magna Guard, and then throw them with a new Gunray with the new Gunray Zeta, that's an amazing hard mode team as well. So, nice little thing. Gosh, Crimson, that's insane. Yes, a CLS is an amazing team for, uh, for it as well. Yeah. If you had a CLS, I'd be more willing to be like, yes, go do hard. I disagree, Caleb, for the simple reason that you're going to get a lot more if you can't at least, like, do some stuff in, in hard mode. And especially if you're looking to get gear at all out of Conquest, you're basically screwing yourself out of gear and Datacrons because you're trying to do hard mode Conquest. If you're doing normal Conquest, you can get Datacrons and you can get gear very easily. You're just taking a hit on shards for the character, which at this point, we're not looking at a whole lot of shards anyways. So... <clears throat> Yeah. And then I honestly after uh after Executor, you finish Ray, you finished Executor, kind of take a look at where your account is. If if the, the raid is coming around and you know the gas requirements are part of the raid, go for it, get your negotiator pilots up, get your uh get your droids up and finish the gas event. That would be great for your account. Or you can go for Jedi Knight Luke into Jabba if that's not the way you want to go. So Uh, it entirely depends, because, like, right here, you know, Darth Revan is not great past, like, the first two. Jedi Knight Revan is not great past the first set, unless you have a really banger one. General Grievous is good, but you need a relic General Grievous. Trey is not great without her Omicrons. Uh, like, you're just, just looking at these, uh, things, like, the Zori team can work kind of anywhere in hard mode, but it's just, it's not leveled up in this account. And so you can see where th this account is not going to be good for hard mode without having at least a team or two to carry you throughout. So, very much I would do normal. Uh, 
Like, if he had a CLS, if he had an SLKR, and he had a fully Relic Grievous team, I'd be like, go for it. You're going to be at least getting to Sector 2, Sector 3, no problem. But, uh, I mean, the Treya team doesn't necessarily need really good mods. Like, I would say you're, you're already doing great with the modding for the Sith Trio. I would focus on other things. You know, focus on getting some, especially getting some mods for Resistance Hero Finn and getting that Finn Zori team started. A really big thing I would suggest, as well as a side farm for you would be getting yourself a set of mods for SLKR himself now while you're waiting on the character. I do the same thing for all of my GLs. I try to get a good set while I'm waiting for the character. So uh, I'm going to jump out of roster reviews for a hot second and just show kind of where we are for those who missed it for our Gungans. But we spent our $280 today. Uh, and we have our Gungans. Boss Nass just got up to 7 star today. We spent 4,000 crystals on that. Uh, Captain Tarples just made his way up to uh, up by 50 shards. Um, and then our Gungan Phalanx is already at 6 stars. So, put in a lot of work. Yeah, no problem, Zeon. Uh, is Siren still here? This will probably be the last one I do just because I still got to make my lunch before I head to work because I've spent way too much money and there's no way I'm spending more on dinner tonight while I'm at work. Okay. Uh, you have Supreme Leader Kylo Ren and JML. What did you say? GAC Focus, Light Spender, $5 Kyra Packs, Boss and Light Speed Bundles. Okay, so basically how I was for a long time. Until I got this channel, basically. Ticket Farming for JML Ult. Uh, we'll have Darth Bane after next Conquest. Awesome, dude. You got this gear stash for a Relic 7? I'd consider a Relic 8. Um, it's just, he's such a fun character. You're going to love him. You might as well relocate him. Uh, he's gonna, he's great for a Relic 8. Working on Radis for Rey. Um, Profundity Jabba or Round Out Teams. Okay, so you're working on Ray, which I think is an excellent idea. I don't think anyone should sleep on their light speed bundles for sure. So I think Ray's going to be an excellent farm for you overall. I do love seeing the fact that you're not sleeping on your Krex. That's always nice to see. You're going to have a defensive Galactic Legend and two offensive Galactic Legends. Um, let's check your ships. Do you have an Executor already? It looks like it. I just saw Razor Crest. Yeah, so you have an Executor right now. How's your other fleets doing? You have your echelon finished. Dude, finish your special forces. It doesn't cost anything to do. Please finish your special forces. It is very much a requirement for the executor counter. Uh, okay, you have your BTLB finished. So this is more or less a finished fleet. I would consider taking Plo Koon up to gear 12. Just giving him some viability for survival. Like, he does everything I need him to do at gear 12. <clears throat> so you didn't buy the Radis bundle. That's interesting. So, I'm trying to remember what you need for the Radis bundle, honestly. Scoundrel is the last tab. Uh, you have Landos at 4 star. That's rough, not having uh, the... Yeah, going to get it next time. So on May the 4th, you're going to purchase that. <clears throat> so you have some time before they come back. Um, round out teams. What teams are you thinking about rounding out is the question. Let's kind of take a look at some of the main factions and see where you're at. So I would like to see a full Sith Empire. Uh, yeah. So I would like to see a Relic Savage Press with his Omicron. Yeah, so if I were you, if I were looking at this account and I wanted to just buy the Radis bundle, I would sit here and round out some of your teams. I absolutely would. Take some time and just kind of round out some teams, make sure that they are looking sexy. I do like the fact that you have a Star Killer here at Relic 6. Um, but take some time. Round out some teams. I don't know how your full Star Killer team is. Uh, looks like you don't have a great 
light side unaligned force user right now so you could relic up cal kestis to put with your star killer you could relic up visus mar and so you have a lot of teams that you can take some time and finish while you wait for that bundle to come around uh do the light speed bundles come back on the fourth uh, that is what everyone's theorizing is they're coming back there might be new ones coming but regardless we're looking at some probably some light speed bundles on may the fourth uh, i would be surprised if they don't but there there's no way to know for sure that is the prevailing theory though and that's kind of what i'm working off of but yeah i would take time and round out your teams until the the fourth and then um, when the fourth comes around, we're going to get our double drops so that we usually get each year. And that'll allow you to take those double drops and basically push really hard into, you know, a new farm if you want to. Uh, yeah, like right here, you need to relic up your clone troopers. So, yeah, you've got a lot that you can take some time and finish. So I would finish JML, take some time and just finish some stuff. You're getting Mal Malgus and Proving Grounds? Yeah. So, yeah, 100%. Work on your Sith Empire a bit. Uh, work on your gas team, uh, work on your Savage to go with your Treya, as well as just as a Savage solo. Get your Finn Zeta on and get yourself a Zori in here. Um, you know, if I didn't say it already, and I'll say it again, 501st. Uh, getting your Separatist team, your General Grievous up to Relic level, your B2, your B1. Ignore Droid Decaw, but then add in a Gear 10 Newt Gunray if you have them. Uh, yeah, like right here, just drop the Zeta on Nuke Gunray, and that's instantly an amazing team. So, I would take the time and just farm some side stuff for the next couple of months, um, if I were you. I, honestly, the next month, basically. So, yes, I do think you should slow farm the requirements to Profundity. Regardless, a Profundity fits in your roster too well not to slow farm. So, yes, slow farm the Profundity and then work on your teams you currently have. That would be my suggestion to you. Your mods need some work, so take a look at your mods overall. So 305 is good on Mara Jade, but at 6 million GP, I want to see several characters that are over that 300 threshold. And it's looking pretty sparse up here at the top. And so I want you to work on your mods pretty hard. Go take a look at my mod filter if you need a good mod filter and a way to farm mods efficiently. Uh, there's an entire video on, on my channel. But yeah, keep working on your mods, dude. I want to see Mara Jade at 3.30. I want to see Piet at 3.30. I want to see at least, like, you know, seven, eight characters at over 300 speed ASAP. So. You have a resistance hero fin fast. Get that fin Zeta on and get that Zori team going. Okay. Um, with that, I am going to be ending here pretty soon. Uh, I got to get to work where we will see about raiding someone per, per chance. We'll see if anyone's still streaming. Uh, we'll probably raid Arnold, honestly, and send you guys over to him. Because I'm sure he's still t testing the Phalanx. Which already, just from the low gear testing that I've had in just this event, I do love the Gungan team. It looks like so much fun. I'm very excited to have them. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's jump into our outro song and thank all of you real quick. Big thanks to all of you who watched today, as well as just all of you who contribute. The, these damn contributions are a big reason why I've been able to get as far as I have with the Gungans. Big thank you to all of you. Big thanks to our damn sugar daddy, ADP, as well as Joe Correa, who's really made today possible to spend as much money as we have without me feeling really, really depressed for the rest of the next month. Uh, the damn elite, thank you to all of you for what makes this possible. Thank you for being my members. Love you guys so much. And I will, uh, I will see you guys next time. I'm going to see if we can raid someone really quick. But big thanks to all of you. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate you guys coming out, especially when there's things like, you know, Arnold out there that you could be watching right this moment but I just don't have time this week to do some regular streams and so we're we're doing some weird times this week okay let's uh let's see if we got someone that we can raid real quick okay it looks like no one else is going besides I think Arnold 
And honestly, I don't know if Arnold uh, is actually has his available. Yeah, he, he doesn't have it available. I'll have to see if I can convince him to change that fact here in the future. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.